Hello. How infuriating! I don't even like the place that much, but I'll be damned if I let them toss me out of my own inn. The closer the city gets to completion, the worse things get for us common folk. What happened at the inn? Orsimer soldiers barged into our inn and kicked us out. Now they won't let anyone back in. They decided to detain some of our patrons, including your friend. In fact, the little wood elf showed up right before the soldiers did. There has to be a way to get inside though, right? The soldiers place guards at all the exits, even the back one. Damned if I know how they found out about that. The soldiers won't let anyone in until they finish the king's work. Whatever that is. Bunch of stiff boots. The lot of them. Look, all I know is that I'll get- I'll find a way to get inside. I promise. I should have known that hiding folks in our inn would eventually bite us in the arse. This is ridiculous, though. They sent an entire squad of soldiers to lock down one inn. You'd think we were the damn Winterborn or something. If you want, uh, your inn back, I'll need your help. Haven't you and your friends caused us enough trouble already? No. All right. If you get me my inn back, I'll try to forget that any of this ever happened. So, how can I help? Uh... Do you have your inn key with you? I could use it to sneak into the, uh, back into the inn. That was the first thing they confiscated. Of course they did. It was Sergeant Vulmon. I know him. He's one of our regulars. Usually friendly, leaves an extra gold piece now and again. He's stationed near the King's Corner Club, but he won't give up that key. I mean, I could always steal it from him, right? That's between you and him. I'll have no part in that. I'm no criminal, despite how all this looks. Uh, the soldier you were talking to, do you know her? Never seen her before. I make it a habit to get to know all of the guards and soldiers who come to the inn to unwind. From the look on her face, she hasn't unwound since the king was a cub tied to the forge mother's apron. <laughs> uh, you must know something about her, though. What? You looking to court her or something? Not at all. You're so enthralled by Captain What's-Her-Name. I heard her tell a soldier she'd be by the ramparts near the stables. But she's a cold fish. Mark my words. You'd do better fishing in a different pond. I think you're misunderstanding my, uh... My goals here. Goodbye. So she is where exactly? Oh, she's still here in the city, apparently. Uh, and it's not that far. It looks like I have to go around, though. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I'm gonna ride my horsey. Run! Wait, is it even this way? It is. Uh-oh. I lost my mouse for a second. We should be in the right direction this time around. Excuse me, coming through. Oh, there's a side quest right here too, but nope. The orcs, the Steal the key from Sergeant Verbal. Wait, who's this? Gods, don't get me started on the Bretons. Oh, this is Sergeant Vullamon. Oh, my inventory's full. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Yeah, I don't want that anyways. This person is gonna see me. Is that a guard? I gotta wait for them to- for him to get somewhere. That isn't gonna get me caught up. You do not see me. 30% chance? That ain't gonna cut it, bruh. 50% chance? I'm so screwed. You this is going to come back to haunt you. Mark my words. Bash is gonna hate me again, because I'm gonna do it again. He's suspicious, though. Do I have to wait? Do I have to disappear? Uh... I think I have to reset this encounter, basically. Hmm. I wish it was like Assassin's Creed and I could just jump into a... Uh, like a basket of hay and just disappear. Where did he go? 
What? Homeboy completely, like, just jumped off. Let's try it again. Oh, come on. Well, I got it. Bastion double hates me for that one. I don't care, though. I can't wait for the next two companions to come out, man. They recently released, uh... They had announced two new companions, a Khajiit and a Breton. Oh my god, I can't wait. I think I think one of them... I think the Khajiit's name was Ember? I can't remember the other girl's name, but... I'm excited, dude. <clears throat> Alrighty, where am I? Below. That's definitely above. And that's definitely a dead end, so I think I have to definitely go upstairs. I always get lost in this place, I swear. This way. What are we gonna find? This is where we had the meeting room. Who's this? Oh, what's up? You're a little late. I can see that. They just left me here to die. What happened here? Where are the others? I was running messages for the cute wood elf and the grumpy orc. When I returned, the soldiers rushed in and stabbed me. Where are uh where are Evely and Chief Barzrog? They never saw it coming. The soldiers grabbed the orc chief and the elf took them away by the order of the king. I guess I was just in the way. Hang on. <laughs> Talk to King Kurog. Dude, I'm telling you, Kurog has something to do with this. I'm now upstanding. At least I didn't have to pay for anything. I almost always certainly get caught up. Alrighty. That was fast. Luckily, it was literally just down the street. Karag, you slimy sleazeball, you. I know you have something to do with this, bruh. I know you do. You're just shady. Where am I going? Uh, above. How do I get above? This way? Oh, I guess I could climb up here, right? Oh, there you are. Kurog, you sleazeball. Ah, my favorite problem handler has returned. Have you come to see what you accomplished? Thanks to you, the clan chiefs have gathered to hear what I have to say. This is going to be a moot that all of Rothgar won't soon forget. I need to talk to you about something important. That sounds <laughs> serious. But this is a time for celebration. The next age of the Orsimer people begins today. Then, why did you send soldiers to the inn? You dare to question my actions? Yep. To imply that I don't have the best interests of my people in mind? Yep. If you must know, we received word of the location of the traitors. I sent my soldiers to capture them for interrogation. Do you know that your soldiers were, uh, infiltrated by the Vosh... Raka, or whatever? What? How dare you spread such false accusations? Has Basrog filled your head with more of his Malakath lies? I won't hear such things. Not on the verge of my greatest victory. Then where's Chief Basrog and Evely? More questions? You're beginning to try my patience. Good. But let's not talk about such matters in front of the clan chiefs. Meet me down in the dining hall and we can continue this discussion in private. If you say so. Where am I? I'm like a ninja, bruh. I jump. With the great shackle destroyed, has the plane mail been stopped? I don't know who's talking. Oh. Hey, Forge Mother. Ah, oh, outsider. You never cease to surprise me. Why? I suppose your recent adventures were somewhat trying. Of course, sticking your tusks where they don't belong usually leads to trouble, doesn't it? It's what I do best. Ah, uh, what are you talking about? So proud. So sure, 
so certain that you do the right thing. But you defy the will of Trinimac and try to stop the inevitable by warning my son. In short, you have begun to annoy me. But I need to warn Kurag uh, about the Vashraka or whatever. The Vashrak do exactly what they've been ordered to do. I can't say it. They will eliminate every obstacle that threatens my son. It's time to remove the clan chiefs so that awesome unification can begin. This is about survival. Surely you can understand that. Wait. Hold on. You're behind this? Wait. No, you know what, dude? It's you. I'll stop you. Stop me? I don't think so. The Orsama will rally as one under King Kurog's banner. I have foreseen it. Oh my god, dude. I was wrong. So Kurog is basically just a, one of her pawns. Let it oh. be known. The outsider who stands before us has betrayed our great city. For your actions, hey. I condemn you and your allies to death. A sentence you shall execute by your own hand. Fight. Oh, I'm sorry it had to come to this. What I do, I do for the good of the Orsimer people. What happened? Talk to Shield Wife versus Bottle, whatever. It's about time. I would have been disappointed if you died after I dragged you down here. She she saved me. You learn a lot about healing <coughs> when you're King Korog's Shield Wife. Looks like my skills apply to outsiders as well. But we've wasted enough time. You need to get moving. She's pretty, first of all. What happened? I admit I never trusted you. Okay. But you've helped our people. You deserve better than to fall to the Forge Mother. I dragged you back here before the Vashrock arrived, healed you as best I could. Now get out of here before the soldiers find you. I can't just leave. Not while there are still things that need to be done. My beloved does what he must to unite our people. You know this is true. You've seen it. The clan chiefs refuse to listen. If Kurog fails, the Orsimer will never be anything more than the abused and scorned wretches the other races imagine us to be. There must be another way. The chiefs have already headed to the Moot, and Vashrak guard the keep. If you want to survive, you have to leave now. I don't want to fight you, but if you decide to go after the king, well, I am sworn to protect my beloved. Well, thank you for helping me, but I am not leaving without Chief Bosrog and Evely. Sp especially the, the latter of the two. I expected you'd say that. Take this. It will open the cells in the dungeon below the keep. Just take your friends far from this place and let my beloved finish his mission to elevate our people. Before I go, though, I want to ask you something. My beloved believes that this is the only way to accomplish his dream. As his shield wife, I will support him, just as I always have. Was this Kurog's plan all along? No. He hoped that the chiefs would come to believe in his vision, to see the future he imagined just as he did. He never wanted it to come to this. But a king must always do the right thing for his people. Won't killing the chiefs turn the clans against the king kind of defeats the purpose, right? Why would they do that? They'll see a king who fought the fanatical Vashrak, who tried desperately to save the chiefs against overwhelming odds. When the dust clears, they will love him and stand united beneath his banner for all the world to see. That's not how it works. Sorry to break it to you, they're delusional. Why do Alga and Kurog hate Vashrak so much, though? My beloved doesn't hate Basrog. They were friends once. Once. Almost brothers. If anything, he's disappointed in the chief. But Basrog challenges the king. He needs to be removed from the field of battle before he has a chance to disrupt the plan. That's why you blame Basrog for the attack on the temple. It 
work, didn't it? It did. The chiefs have gathered for the moot, and everything proceeds as planned. As long as you take Basrog with you when you leave, there won't be any reason for more bloodshed. He served his purpose, just like you. Why are you going along with all of this? Korog is my beloved, and I swore an oath to support and protect him. Besides, I believe in the King's dream. I believe in a united Orsamer nation. It's the best way for us to take our place as equals among the other races. Even if it means killing innocents. Oh, the clan chiefs are far from innocent, and their deaths will serve a higher purpose. They represent a worthy sacrifice. Now, take your friends and go. This isn't your concern any longer. Let my beloved finish what he began. Please. Toodles. Dude, I'm so gonna kill King Bosrog. Or, uh, Kellogg. The cereal box, whatever the hell's name is. Oh, hello. Take you. Set it ablaze. Dunskies. Dude, we're gonna have a complete battle. Hiya! It didn't really work the way I wanted it to. Done. Fight it. Got him. What's up, broski? What you got on me? Nothing, that's what. Light it up. Ow, that hurt. Sheath your weapons. The battle is won. Hold on, where am I going? Am I actually going in? It says below. So it's not. Hello. No Okay, we're definitely on the right track. Let me drop some things to make me a little bit more powerful. Well, not that I really need them. Because they were all dead, pretty much. So, hey, hello, Chief Bosrog. We have to stop meeting like this. We do. Maybe next time I could rescue you. What do you say? What in Malakath's name is Kurag up to, I wonder? This is brash, even for him. Krog is working with the Vashrak. You better not be pulling my tusk, outsider. I've known Krog for a long time. We may disagree on certain issues, but he's always had the best interests of our people in mind. This makes no sense. He's using the moot as a trap. He's going to eliminate the chiefs who oppose him. He's done it once already. Then there isn't any <clears throat> time to waste. Give me the key and head for the throne room. There's a passage in there that will lead you directly to the moot. I'll get Everlee to safety and try to gather some additional help. Additional help? There are still some people here in the city that I can count on. Now do whatever you have to and get to the moot. If we run into any problems, find me outside the keep and we'll figure something out. Sounds like a plan. Can, can I read? I can't release them? I guess I can't release him. So I'll find the path to the throne room. We're gonna kill him right now, aren't we? We're gonna kill him right now, I think. Sit your butt down. Nice. I like this build. Still kind of tweaking it a little bit, but. I wish you had listened. I'm sorry it's come to this, but you leave us no choice. I'm fighting the shield mothers. You sit down, and you shut up. Let me set down some power-ups. Done. That's all you got? Come on, Bastion. 
They were easy. The king's orders. Beloved shield wives, see all the paths to the move. We're about to begin and I don't want any interruptions. Once I hate this writing, dude, I can never read it. I can't read period and this just makes it worse. Uh, once I unlock the gate from the throne room, I need you, my beloved and beloved shield wives, to stand guard and deal. Okay, yep, you guys can read that if you guys want. <laughs> okay, let's see. What what are we doing? Talk to Chief Bosrog. Okay. Let's get this handled. I think my headset's backwards, actually. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's backwards. Here, let's fix that. That's better. That feels a lot better. Sorry for that weird cut, by the way. I got a phone call. I had to take care of something. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that was funny. Let's go. Talk to Chief Bosrog. So at least now he's out, apparently. He escaped himself, somehow. How far is he? He is... Wait, did I miss something? Is he... He's literally... Oh, he's at the... He's literally down the road. What am I stuck on? What? I hate the floatiness of this game sometimes. Hey, it's Emily! Oh, I love that girl. She's so cool. I had a feeling I'd find you here. Kurog sealed the route to the moot, didn't he? Damn it. Most of my contacts have gone deep into hiding, and we're no closer to saving the chiefs than we were when I scraped you up off the floor of the keep. Well, I found this note in the throne room. Let me see that. You can get to the moon through the temple. I had no idea that path even existed. But they sent soldiers after soldier, that's bad. We need a new plan and we need it now. Any ideas? You go ahead to the temple and check on the High Priestess. Evely and I have one more place where we can look for some help. If we're successful, it might make the path to the moon slightly less complicated. Well, just be careful. The soldiers and guards are still looking for both of you. I'm well aware of that. I'm counting on the start of the move to keep them distracted. But we won't take any unnecessary chances. We need Solgra alive to tell her side of the story. Then we can get to the moot and save the chiefs. Alright, I'll try to make this quick then. You've done more for me and my people than I could have ever expected. I appreciate that. It shows you have honor. Now get to the temple and make sure the High Priestess is alright. We need her alive. Sounds like a plan. On, uh, well, no, I'm not on it. I really gotta get rid of all of this. All of it. Everything. First of all, you can go to where? What is this? Done more for me and my people than I Garbage. Besieged by weapon-wielding fanatics twice in the same season. It's insane. Kurog has set this avalanche in motion. Now it's up to us to try to stop it. I'll do what I can. I know you will. I've seen you in action. I have a feeling that the fate of Rothgar depends on what we do next. Our actions, whether we succeed or fail, will determine the future of Orsinium and the Orc people. Do you really think everything comes down to this? How could it not? The temple. The moot. Those are the fires that will test our metal. We'll either come out stronger or be consumed in the flames. Now go help Sogra. Okay, I'll go to the temple and help uh, the High Priestess. Ooh, man, this is intense. How far is this? Oh, it's it's still within the city. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. All right. Sorry for that weird cut. Um. So previously, the last cut that you saw, I had a phone call. Uh, to pick up my son. Because there was a problem. Uh. Like, one of the water pipes busted, they had no water at the school or something like that. So, I have to go pick them up. Now I'm back. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna continue this quest line. I'm gonna go ahead and finish. I'm pretty sure I can finish the entire, the rest of the DLC. At least the main story. By doing this. By just sitting here and playing through, I mean. 
I don't think it's very far that I have to go anyways. Here, I'm just gonna get on my my little horsey. Yeah. Hurry up and get over there, you know? Is it It says below. So it's gotta be around. Oh that it's that temple. Duh. Orsinium is such a confusing city. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but it's such a confusing city, dude. The only city that's com comparable. Are these enemies? No. Let me zoom in a little bit. I don't like how tiny I look. Hello, Priest Ugus, or whatever your name is. This isn't a good time to visit the temple. We have a bit of a situation. I humbly suggest that you come back later. Where's High Priestess Olgra? If this is about that incident with the fanatics, you should take it up with the king. In these difficult times, misunderstandings can quickly spiral out of control and lead to situations we'd all rather avoid. Okay. Tell me where I can find the High Priestess. But, but, no, oh, very well. <laughs> When yes. the king's soldiers banged on the door, she ran up the stairs and outside. The soldiers knocked us aside and chased after her. I don't know what Solgra did, but she's clearly made someone very angry. Uh, hi, uh the high priestess didn't say anything. Not a word. She what? appeared to be as surprised as we were when the soldiers barged in. Normally, Solgra is so proper. If the soldiers hadn't had their weapons drawn, I'm sure she would have gone with them quietly. Okay. Is that it? That's... that... Oh, so I guess we're gonna... Go rescue... Her. It's above. How in the world... I swear this place is so freaking confusing. I hate this place with a passion. How do I get up there? This way. I guess it makes sense, it's right behind him, but still, it's confusing regardless. Everything about the city, the temple, everything. I like it, I like the design, the, the way it looks, I should say, but the design and maneuvering your, uh, your way around the city is very confusing, I think, personally. I don't know what you guys think. Okay. We could have achieved the same thing by just leaving and, and running around, but it's okay. There she is! Don't let the traitor get away! Tell the king I'll play no part in his political games. Done Zo. Hi Pri uh, Priestess High Priestess Solgra. Well, I'm super what close to her. Max name is going on. Why did Kurog send soldiers after me? They acted like I'd done something horrible. I didn't want to show it, but I was frightened for my life. I'm just glad you arrived when you did. I bet you were. Uh, those weren't just soldiers. They were Voshrak. That word. I can never say that word. Uh, did they hurt you, though? Voshrak? That. I don't understand. But no, they didn't hurt me. Not for lack of trying, though. So tell me, what kind of trouble are we in now? Well, they're going to blame you. Just so we're clear. They're going to claim you're behind the Vosh Rock. What a ridiculous notion. Trinimac promotes unity and civilization, not anarchy and violence like those Vosh Rock fanatics claim. Dare I ask, tell me, who do we have to thank for this terrible situation? Oh, none other than uh, Kurog and Alga, of course. They plan to kill the chiefs and blame you f uh, for the organization of the Vosh, Vosh Rock. We can't allow that to happen. Of course not. But why have you come to help me? The clan chiefs are more important. You should be at the moot, doing whatever you can to foil the king's dastardly plan. Well, the paths, uh, the paths to the moot have been sealed. I'll accept the path uh, through the temple, which is where you would come in, of course. There's a path to the moot through the temple. Perhaps <clears throat> by the old tunnels. Yes, that must be the way. Exactly. Here, take this key. It opens the library. If there really are old tunnels under the temple, the way to access them is probably in there. 
Okay, go find a place to hide until all this is over. Your safety is extremely important. There she is. My arrow behind you. Who's coming? On the ledges. Where? Quick, let's get oh. My priestess, no! She's down! Make sure none of her allies survive! Get the assassin! I'll take Solgar back to the temple. Go! Oh my god, they shot her! Oh my god, dude. That's actually kind of sad. <laughs> Stop them. For Narnia! You're gonna die, buddy. Let's go. Are they up here? Yeah, okay. I know one escaped. Who that? Who is this? I surrender! I surrender! You killed some of our best soldiers. I know when I'm outmatched. I don't know who this is. Have we met this person before? Or is it just a regular soldier? That armor looks dope, though. Uh, you're nothing but a cowardly assassin. You know that, right? I have my orders. Doesn't change anything. Don't you know that High Priestess Solbra is a criminal, an enemy of the Orsimer? She's the leader of the Vosh Rock. You should thank me for what I've done. You're wrong. You know very well that Solgra isn't connected to the Vosh Rock. How would I know such a thing? I'm just a simple soldier. I'm not a cultist in disguise. And even if I were, you can't prove a thing. Do with me as you will, outsider. I serve a higher cause. <laughs> this one's fun. But this one sounds interesting. Uh, I kind of want to tell them to pass a message. Oh, you know what? Oh, this is tough. I'm actually kind of interested in both of these. Well, Bastion might get mad if I do that, so... Uh, go tell Alga and, Kul and Kellogg's cereal that I'm coming for them. You're going to let me live? The Forge Mother was right. You are a coward. There's no iron in your spine. You can't win, outsider. Trinimac is on our side after all. That makes no sense. I'm a coward and yet I fought your two most strongest people and defeated them. And now you're surrendering. Oh, you're this is me. Okay. Letting me live, but I Say that again. Watching the king tear you apart. Oops. <laughs> okay, let's go. So how far are we going? We are going literally right around the corner. I like how everything is it above. Oh, it's, we're going back into the temple tracking. That was interesting. I can't wait to kill them. We're soldiers. Trying to stop them would have only put us all in danger. You could have done something. You cowards, all of you. Evely, oh, it's Evely! I should have been here to save her. Oh, Solgra's dead, and Evely's a broken hearted. That's even worse because I love Evely. She's probably my favorite character in the game. The death was quick. If that Besides. What in Malakath's name happened out there? The only one that I think I like better than, um, uh, than Evely is probably, uh, Cadwell. Cadwell is just plain and simple, freaking hilarious. Uh, Kurok sent soldiers. Put, put out word that, uh, that she was a leader of the Vosh Rock. I couldn't save her. Solgra didn't deserve this fate. I agree. As much as I disagreed with her. She was a good person, a caring person. Kurog has gone too far this time. He has to be stopped. Oh, dude, it's sad that she died, man. What the hell? I'm over here saying, go get the safety because they're coming after you and instantly get freaking sniped. We talked about the tunnels before she died. Did Solgra know about the tunnels beneath the temple? Was she able to tell you how we can reach the moot before more people die? Y yes, actually. Solgra gave me the key to the library. Uh, she thought the tunnels would be accessible through there. This isn't going to be like...
like swimming in mud with the Argonians. We're talking about defying the king. At best, we'll be branded as Kingslayers. At worst, we'll be dead. This isn't your fight. Not really. Are you still ready to go through with this? Yeah. Karag uh, betrayed us all. I'm ready to end this. Then we take the fight to Kurog and Algar. If they refuse to give up their mad plans, then we fight on until one side or the other has been defeated. Kurog's reign ends today. So swears Basrog of Clan Farum. So swears Basrog of the Orsama. Is Basrog going to be the new leader? They I want him to. Take him to your final oh, oh no! Basrog. Firm believer in Malachi. He is. There is no place for a gentle soul in the Ashen Forge, priest. So why not let Trinimac have her? Goodbye, my friend. I'm going to miss you. Oh, Emily! No! Oh, you guys are breaking my heart. All right, let's go. Let's go kick some freaking kingly ass. Probably smells like ass. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this king. He seems shady from the beginning anyways. His ar his armor looks dope though. Oh, look at them. They're both gonna die. I cannot wait. What's this? Look at this mess. We'll never find anything in here. Look around and see if you can find something that looks like a hidden passage. I'll check over here. You'd think that temple priests would be neater. These manuscripts are all over the place. Start searching. We've got to find a way into the tunnels. Any idea where I should start looking? Look everywhere. That helps. It'll probably be something odd or out of place, like those switches over there. But this is a library. Maybe one of these dusty old tomes can help. There's bound to be a book that talks about the construction of the temple in here. Okay, goodbye. He, he just basically he's like, oh, look specifically at those switches. These puzzles are so ridiculously simple, dude. You just spin them until something changes. Specifically, the, uh, the marker. Oh, wait. Is this actually different? Oh, so that's what this was. I didn't even read it. Uh, culinary expressions of the Orsamer. Tales about the people of R R Rothgar. Discourages orcish thoughts on worship and deities. I am not going to remember any of this. So I'm not going to try. Hmm. Is there another switch maybe on top? Hi, Emily. Oh, there is a switch on top. There's gotta... Oh! Hold up. Let me see. I'm studying at this point. So that's a owl. That's a wolf. That's a hammer. That's a torch. Well, this torch is facing that. I don't know if that means anything. Uh... I have no clue what the answer is, so I'm gonna do the best thing possible, which you guys can agree or disagree with, and resort to Google. <laughs> One second. Alright, so, so apparently it's the wolf. It says it stands to the right. The right of me or the right of this face? I'm gonna assume it's 
the right of the face. So this is the wolf. And then this is the hammer. And then upstairs should be the owl. Yep, the owl. Whoops. So let's see. Well, that's that's nice. That's excellent. That is fantastic. All right, where's the owl? Well, I'll be a puny dark elf. You found it. I guess we're climbing down that hole. I knew you could do it. Thanks, now Emily. Let's go stop the king. I agree. That gate doesn't appear to be locked. Go on. I'm right behind you. Now without searching these things. Who am I killing? Silence, chief. Your constant bickering has plagued our people for long enough. Your odds were little in the chief's thing. You isolate yourselves in your own No, I wanted... Okay, whatever. We must change who and what we are. Your odds got a point. We're still going to kill the bastard, right? <laughs> I love Emily. See, he's got a point, but we're still going to kill him, right? <laughs> no! Really? Alright, I guess I'm heavy attacking. There we go. Oh, he's not dead yet. Now he is. I tried to appeal to you as equals, but you refused Sit to your butt down. I go tired of arguing with you. Hit him. You know, courage brings victory. I agree. But the king cares for our What's his name is actually pretty strong. Stop aiming at the wrong person. The murderous king and You sit down, no and you also sit down. It's a sitting fest. Oh, I didn't realize he was uh already up. It's on like Donkey Kong. Oh, hello. You can sit down. Thank you. Oh, God. You know what I'm going to do? Let me... Let me see something real quick. So healing isn't a real big thing right now. And I need something similar to this but on the stamina side. And he is using dual wielding. So I think I got the perfect ability for him. I'm gonna have to level it up though. I can always put that back on anyways. If I need to. Uh, Be ready for anything. That was an that accident. Was I in on an let's go. Let's let's use them for the first time. Yas Queen. Oh, I didn't even know, realize he came up. That's the last. Much step. better. <laughs> Flurry's already at rank four, bro. We're kicking ass and taking ass. I mean, wait, what? <laughs> I love it. Kneel before me as your king and ruler of the United Orsaman Nation, or die. Done zo. God, I, I love this. This is so much better for me. I have two spammables. Whoops. One on each bar. Ow! Flurry can now be Morph, you say? Doc, I've replaced the healing. Heals you for the percentage. This does more damage, but damage isn't really a problem, especially with companions. I think I'm going to go with Bloodthirst since I replaced an ability that heals a little bit for this. So I think I'm going to go with this. That way I'm not sacrificing too much 
in that department. Let's go! Dude, this is... This is perfect. I like Once it. Once we get inside, find Kurog and take him down. Oh, this is we it then. To save as many chiefs as we can. See, and this is... So, Grunwolf is my monster set. I still need to upgrade him to, leg to legendary or uh, gold or whatever, or yellow, whatever you want to call it. It's good because whenever you deal critical damage, you restore magicka and... Or, or stamina and then whichever maxima uh, maximum is higher you also gain you know 337 of the re other research so you're basically always getting sustained which is perfect this is it's perfect for for my build I think there's still time if we move fast there's no lever they must have shut it from the other side uh stand aside and let me work Get ready to get those people out of there. He is. He is strong. I'll take care of the archers. The clan chiefs. I'll take everyone else. We've been betrayed. Defend yourself. No shit. Ow. Let's go. Now that one was intentional. Let's go. Oh, there's still somebody else. Let me hit him with this. Oh, it's on. Ah! <laughs> hit him. Oh, what's her name's here too? Let's kill the mom. Always go for the mother. You know what I think I'm gonna do too? I think I'm gonna replace. I love this build. I'm gonna do this. Oh, I can't even do it right now. I killed the you hell out of your mom, bro. What are you gonna do? Mother. Yes, I did. Come on, baby. Oh no. Mother, grant me your power. May the fires of your forge engulf the traitors. Ah! Let's go! He is... He's tough. Come and get me. Oh, no. Dunzo. Woo. That was fun. I liked that a lot. I had a little bit of sustain issues, but nowhere near the issues... I think the biggest problem here is that I didn't have potions. I noticed that before I went into the into the fight, which is unfortunate, but it happens. You fought valiantly, bravely. Maybe the best display of martial skill I've ever seen. Thank you. I just wish we weren't forced to become king slayers. Kurog and his mother are dead, but look at the price he made us pay. I agree. Don't know what price that is, but I agree. Somehow, for some reason. What price? <laughs> the murdered chiefs. But they're just the tip of Malakath's tusk. More orcs will die as they fight to take control of their clans. All the while ignoring the approach of winter and the coming starvation. I've seen enough death for two lifetimes. Wait, hold on. So he still killed all of the chiefs? They, we saw them run away, didn't we? I must have missed something. Uh, are you saying we should have left Kurog in power? No. Kurog went from good intentions to madness faster than a hawker swallows a bucket of fish. It's true. 
Killing him was the right thing to do. In the end, he left us no choice. I mean, we could have probably arrested him and had him stood trial. But, realistically, I don't think he would have... I don't think he would have allowed himself to get arrested. I don't even think orcs do that anyway. So, I think killing him was probably our only option through their heritage. But, I don't know. Let me know down a little bit in the lore. Uh, down in the comment section down below if you guys know about that. But, uh, so why does Kurog's death seem to bother you then? How could it? Once Kurog was like a brother to me. He was a great orc, a visionary, before his mother corrupted him. Uh, but I've become as gloomy as a drunken dark elf on a rainy day. Must be because Kurog won, despite everything we did. Yeah. What do you mean? Please. Enough talk. I want to be alone for a while. <clears throat> Think about what happened here and what has to happen next. Meet me back at the keep. We'll continue this discussion then, and you'll get the explanation you desire. Okay. May your path to the Ashen Forge be lit with the braziers of courage, my one time played brother. He sounds. He sounds. Very distraught. I kind of feel bad for him. Can I just fast travel there? Uh, back at the keep. I'm gonna try. I'm just gonna leave. Like this. Where did Emily go anyways? She said she was gonna take care of the archers, but she kind of disappeared after that. Oh well. Uh, I feel horrible, dude. He like... I think I might be wrong. I don't think everybody died, but that's the kind of the impression that I got. The rude people, the noise, the chaos. Is it strange that I find it comfortable? I like Bastion a lot. He's kind of annoying sometimes, but I like Bastion. I like Bastion better than Miri, but I think a lot of people are going to go with the new Khajiit that comes out. Uh, Ember, I believe her name is. It seems cool, but I like Bretons, so I think I'm going to go with the chick. So return to the keep. So I'm probably going to be using Bastion. I forgot the girl's name, to be honest. But there's rumors. They haven't disclosed what their... I guess... You know, classes? Because Bastion is a Dragon Knight. And Miri is like uh, a... Uh, a... A... Uh, oh my god. A night blade, right? And supposedly the new Khajiit is there's like rumors and discussions, I guess like the new Khajiit is gonna be a uh, a sorcerer and the new Breton female is gonna end up being a Templar. And if that's the case, Bastion is an Imperial, my favorite race. Dragonite is my favorite race. I mean, my favorite class in this game. So, Bastion is, like, my favorite companion, period, right? My second favorite race right now is the Bretons in ESO. So, the Bretons is my second favorite race. My second favorite uh, uh, class is the Templars. So, it's, it's perfect, man. So, thank you, Zoss. You literally... Good job. You're just in time. We've finished clearing out the Vashrock, and the remaining chiefs are waiting for me to address them. But word of Karag's death is spreading through the city like wildfire. I don't know how the people will react to the news. Yeah, so are the uh, Vashrock really defeated? Not completely. <clears throat> I'm sure there are still pockets of deluded cultists hiding throughout the countryside. We'll deal with them eventually. Good. Right now, I need to figure out what to do with the clans that lost their chiefs. And with this damnable city. So... He is taking... He... He is... Taking over, right? He's in charge? What did you mean when you said Kurog had won? Kurog dreamed of a united awesome nation. 
Of all orc clans standing shoulder to shoulder as equals with the other races. Despite everything that happened, I think he's going to get his wish. A unified Orsomer nation? So, how? I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense since they're... Uh, I'm still not sure what you mean by that. How did Kurog win? It will all become clear in time. Right now, I need to talk to the chiefs. Figure out how we're going to stabilize the clans without the need for more death and destruction. If you're up to it, I have one more favor to ask of you. Yeah, man, what do you need me to do? You came to Rothgar to help Kurog unite our people and rebuild this great city. Despite how we got here, you accomplished everything the king asked of you. Now I have a request. If you're willing to provide one more service to the orcs. Let me guess. Inventory full. Surprise! Alright, I'm just gonna grab some random thing. Okay, goodbye. I have one more. Yeah. Came to this last favor is of a more personal nature. I want to give Kurag a proper funeral. To honor him for the warrior and leader he was. And not the crazed despot he turned out to be. Wow. This dude is actually very admirable. Like, I can respect him. He may... He's... Insinuating that he wants to do a proper funeral for somebody who is essentially a traitor to his people. I can respect this guy. I want him to be in charge. I hope he does. You really want to pay tribute to Kurog? I do. <clears throat> Kurog was my friend once. And he was a great orc before his ambition got the better of him. Besides, the people need to know the whole truth. The good as well as the bad. The traditional orc requiem is just what we need to get past this. What do you need me to do? Take these notes and deliver them. Everyone should be somewhere in the city. Make them listen to you. Get them to attend Kurog's funeral. Meanwhile, I'll make sure everything is prepared for the ceremony. Okay, I'll deliver the letters. On your way, <coughs> after you've delivered the letters, stop by the King's Corner Club. Speak to the barkeep and get a bottle of Kurog's favorite ale. It's foul stuff. <laughs> but he loved it. We'll use it to drink to his memory at the service. Okay, are you happy with the rebuilt Orsidium? Happy? What an odd question. To tell you the truth, I never thought I'd live to see the city rise again. But I've been wrong before. You're a good example of that. If you're asking if I'm proud of what Kurog created, then yes. I guess I am. Huh. Yeah, get, look, I agree with the whole unified orc thing, right? But everything that Kurog did, he went about it the wrong way. You know what I mean? If you don't agree with me, F you type stuff. So, the conclusion was good in spite of everything that happened in between the start and the finish, right? So, I don't know. Are you worried about, uh... Are you worried that without a king, the city might make a tempting target? The thought has crossed my mind. At least under Kurog as part of the Daggerfall Covenant, we were considered strong. We had allies. That's something I need to think about. I used to dismiss Kurog and his deals with our enemies. Now I'm not so sure. Okay. He kind of agreed to Rick, uh, agreed with him indirectly. Are you thinking of withdrawing from the alliances? Or the alliance? Emmerich's agreement was with Kurog, not the clan chiefs. We need to discuss our options and make a decision. Hopefully before the next siege camp sets up outside our walls. Whoa, that's scary. <clears throat> uh, why hold a special funeral for a king who tried to murder you, though? The chiefs and I discussed this. We think it's better to remember Kurog for who he was rather than vilify him as a tyrant. We honor the orc I knew as a friend, not the one I fought with as a rival and an enemy. 
He's a better man than I will ever be, man. Because I, I would literally make him a tyrant if I was in charge. He, he murdered clan chiefs, you know? He conspired against his own people. It's he was a he was a tyrant. He really was. I don't agree with him if I'm being complete. I admire him. I respect him for being able to overlook some things, but I don't know if I would be able to, frankly speaking. Uh I didn't think that uh you and Kurog ever liked each other. We fought side by side long ago. When he left Rothgar to become a mercenary. I went with him. It was a glorious time. But I had responsibilities to return to. When next I saw my friend, he was making his own challenge to become chief of his clan. Then how did Kurog become king? Kurog struck a deal with High King Emric, agreed to support the Breton ruler in Lancer's war in exchange for the return of Rothgar. That's when he declared himself king. Some of us were furious with him, but his actions saved countless lives. Yeah, that makes sense. Who am I delivering the letters to? Mostly to people you know. People who helped us stop Kurog and the Vashrok. It's all like Evely. There are also a few friends of mine. We trained together not long ago, but they recently returned to Rothgar. I want them to see what happened here. Okay. How will I recognize these friends of yours? There's Vizra. <clears throat> Who rarely removes her war paint. She'll tell you to tusk off. But give her the letter anyway. The other one, he's a unique character. Has a code of honor all his own. If Bizra is here, he won't be far from her side. Okay, good to know. Let's go deliver some letters. King, uh, I kind of want to see this new weapon. So there's nothing spectacular about it. It's basically just a named weapon. Long story short, I'm going to end up scrapping it. Is basically what I'm trying to say here. Okay. We got to go to numerous places. Are they all... Whoops, wrong button. Are they all around the city? Wait, hold on. Could have sworn I bought that already. Okay, well, let's... Oh, got it. Whoops. Well, time to get rid of something else. Let's go ahead and buy that now. What was it that I got? Oh, the banner of Shia Gorath. I'm going to end up putting that. Because now it should be grayed out, right? Yeah, I'm not going to lie, dude. I buy everything. King I own every cosmetic item in the game. Or in the crown store. I have no shame. None whatsoever. I enjoy it. I like options. Tusk off. I've got no time for beggars or dishonest traders, and I'm in the mood to throw someone into the river. So walk away before we find out if you can swim. Basrog was absolutely accurate when he said she will probably tell you to tusk off. That was literally the first thing she said. <laughs> uh, anyways, Chief Basrog sent me to find you and your friend. Oh, really? I was certain the old bastard had forgotten his battle companions. In our day, we cut a bloody path across elsewhere in High Rock. But why'd Bosrog send you, I wonder? Well, he actually wanted me to give you this letter. A letter? Yeah. For me? Yep. My companion should be along at any moment. Wait until he finds out Bosrog is a chief now. <laughs> a chief with his own private messenger. He'll plop a brick. I mean, I'm doing him a favor. I wouldn't go as far as saying I'm his private... Messenger. I hope you're not giving oh, there he is. Messenger a hard time this way. Don't we know this guy? Don't we know this guy? I 
hope Bizra hasn't been giving you a hard time. She can't help it. She has the personality of an ornery Achater. And that's her on good days. Okay, whatever you say, man. Chief Basra Gormi, you deliver this letter. Let me see that. Interesting. Kurog's dead, and Basrog wants to throw him a traditional or summer funeral. And look at that. I'm invited. <laughs> I usually only get invited to things when someone wants me to hit something. Well, how you know Chief Basrog? I don't know Chief Basrog, but I was well acquainted with Basrog the Butcher. We all served as a part of Gaspar's Stalkers. Probably the best mercenary company ever to battle its way across Hammerfell and Cyrodiil. Those were good times. Goodbye, my friend. That I just met. Okay, so that was one out of six. We still got a few that we got to take care of. So where are we going? It does, looks like one is right here. Somewhere. It's above. Oh, it's Ulsha. Ulsa. Ulsa. Her. Long time no see. I'm glad to see that life still courses through your body. I'd be extremely out of sorts if you turned up dead. I'm not. And I heard what happened. You have my thanks for keeping Chief Basrog safe. I'd be even more upset if my husband had died. Yeah, well, uh... Where were you while we were trying to stop Kurog anyways? Not everyone has the luxury to run off on an adventure whenever the mood takes them. I had the foreign survivors to deal with. They had to be gathered up and given shelter after the attack on our stronghold. Got it. Chief Basrog asked me to, to give you this letter, by the way. A letter? How intriguing. What does it say? <laughs> uh -huh. My husband plans to hold a funeral for Kurog? I suppose that makes sense. They were good friends once, before Kurog put that tight crown upon his head. I'll join Basrog as soon as I can. Good to know. Thank you. You have a good day, ma'am. Uh, looks like one is right here. This is probably what's her name. This isn't that secret place, right? Oh, it's not what's her name. It's what's his name. You're here. Saves me the trouble of finding you. Before I return to the Somerset Isles, I want to thank you for not killing me back at the Voshrak Temple. I appreciate that. Me too. I think I would have found death to be very boring. <laughs> Alright, well, not everyone survived, man. The High Priestess was an inspiration. Her legacy will live on, in our memories and in the memories of everyone in Orsinium. As hard as it is to accept, the simple truth is that you can't save everyone. It's true. You just have to try. I agree. But before you go, my friend... Chief Basrog wanted me to give you this letter. What's this? A funeral? And I'm invited? Splendid. That will give me a chance to say my farewells to everyone all at the same time. Still, a funeral for that mad despot. Uh, yeah, it's I a little weird. Chief Basrog knows what he's doing. Goodbye, my friend. He's a good dude. I like him. Even for being in a high elf. He's not as naughty as the rest of the high elves. Those... Oh, uh, there's somebody else in here? Those pesky Altimer, man, I swear. Where's the next person? Is it gonna make me go inside just to go outside? That's exactly... Oh, no, never mind. It's on the other side. Okay, tracking. Hey, I forgot about you. I don't think you should be here. I don't want any more trouble. I heard the king was dead, and I'm sure you had something to do with it. So leave us out of it. I had everything to do with it. I killed him. <laughs> and his mom. <laughs> Chief Basrog asked me to give you this. No, I don't want anything. Not from you, not from Chief Basrog. I just want me and my father to be left alone. Please, just at least take a look at the letter. You just won't take no for an answer. Oh, all right, let me see that. Not at all. A funeral? For the king? And the chief wants me to attend? That's... I'd be honored. I wonder if I have time to get a nice dress. I don't know. I'll leave that to you. You have a good day, ma'am. So, how do I leave this place? Is it here? <clears throat> okay, so that's already four out of six. So, where's the next one? 
So, I guess the last two are there, right? Oh, we're flying. Let's go! Oh, I'm still sad that what's-her-name died. Hype, the High Priestess Olgra? That's sad. Hey, what's up, man? I'm going to miss this place. The temple has become a more somber place since the death of the High Priestess. Solgra was a good woman. Aww. She cared about our people and hoped to spread Trinamac's word. I know she also considered you to be her friend. Are you going somewhere? The temple is going to be rededicated to Malakath now that King Kurog and the Forge Mother are gone. It's a shame, but I can't blame the clan chiefs. Not after what the Boshrock did. That's true. Chief Boshrock asked me to give you this, by the way. What's this? A funeral? For Kurog? I'd be honored to represent Solgra and the temple at this solemn event. Not because I have any love for the Mad King, but because I see Bosrog's wisdom. The city needs to heal. I'll do what I can to help with that. Aw, uh, goodbye, my friend. Wish you the best. So who's the last one? Is it really not going to be Evely? Oh, it is Evely. Oh, save the best for last. The high priestess used to study here. Read her books, write her sermons. Now she's gone, and it feels like I've got a hole the size of Elden Root right in the middle of my chest. Well, you're talking Sagra, uh, you're taking Sagra's death kind of hard, aren't you? Damn right. We won, but the High Priestess died. That's awful, and it makes me so angry. It just isn't fair. Aww. You obviously came here for another reason. Sorry I got so emotional. What's up? I really hate that she's all sad and depressed, but Chief Bosrog wanted me to give you this. A letter? Isn't that how all this trouble started in the first place? <laughs> it did, actually. Well, I guess I might as well see this through to the end. And you'll be there, right? Yeah. Me and you, once more into the breach. Hopefully without anyone trying to kill us <laughs> this time. Goodbye, my friend. I'll see you there. So we finally... So we're going to the kids' corner club. It's actually not going to be in the temple? Or even in the... Uh, in the main place? I forget what it's called. All right, whatever. Let's go. I guess we're going to the King's Counter Club, which kind of makes sense because that's, that was his favorite place to be. You know? But still, it's kind of a... Going to a bar for a funeral is a... A little strange, to say the least. <clears throat> okay. Where are we going? King's Corner Club. This is it right here. Oh, wait, before I forget. Well, oh, yeah, that was it. So I want to change these around. That way the first ability is always the opposite. Yeah, I think I like this. I like this a lot, actually. <clears throat> no sad faces. Not in here. This was Korog's happy place, and that's how it's going to stay. To Korog, to Orsinium. May the city always remember the kind and gentle king who cared for his people. Everything else? That was his mother's fault. You know what? That is true. If it wasn't for his mom, he would probably still be that honorable man he always was. But that doesn't excuse the decisions he made. You know, it's, I'm torn on this, man. I'm torn. I don't think he deserves all of this, regardless of who's, who did the manipulating, you know? He still made some decisions on his own. I don't know. I need a bottle of Karag's favorite ale for his funeral, I guess. Funeral? No one tells me anything. I came to this wretched land because of Karag. He set me up with this tavern, and I'll always be grateful to him for that. You want the ale? Let's make a deal. Yeah, I totally forgot that we we're coming here. It's not the funeral here. It's where we're getting the alcohol 
totally forgot that it's wretched, but it was his favorite. Got it. What kind of deal? I'll give you a bottle of Korog's favorite ale. I'll give you a whole damn barrel of the stuff. But only if you let me attend his funeral. I want to honor him. Say goodbye. Let me do that, and I'll make sure you have plenty of the ale he loved. You know, that seems fair. Consider done. Thank you. I'll have the ale delivered to the keep. And I'll see you at the funeral. It'll be one last party for the king. It's actually sad, dude. It really is really sad. Everyone's like moping around and... Okay, so we're going to the castle overlook. Let's go. Hello. That dude looks pretty cool. He actually kind of looks like my main character. <clears throat> Except, obviously, not mage-like, but I'm, I meant in his face. Um, so we're going... No. It is this way. Excuse me, coming through, coming through. Wait, hold up. I'm so confused right now. Is it on this side? Do I have to go through here? It would kind of make sense to go here. That was not right. Okay. Oi. Did I did I just find it? I think I just found it. There it is. Castle Overlook. I'm telling you this place is confusing. It's not very straightforward. A lot of like it'll tell you that is straight ahead, but you have to go around There's and something wonderful about wandering a city streets with no destination. Okay, Bastion, we're at a funeral guy. You need to shut up. Oh. Hello. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's so cool. I like that a lot, actually. Old friends, I'm glad to see you. This is very important to me. I'm just sorry I missed all the action. It looks like you could have used another hand or two. Bomb nog and hands. I think it's an obsession. Aww. All right, let's talk to him. <clears throat> Thank you for gathering, everyone. It's important that they're all here to see what happens next. What does happen next? We proceed with the funeral. The ceremony is as much about Kurog and the others as it is about the future of the city. The awesome people. Everyone will want to be here for this. It sounds like you've come to a decision. Don't worry. I'm not planning anything as audacious as Kurog. Everyone in the city has a choice to make, but it will be peaceful. Nothing will be forced upon them. No more harm will come to the Orsimer. You have my word on that. Yeah, I believe you. I really do. Remember that you, uh, remember that you said, remember that you said that. Oh, I'm telling him. Okay. Too many people died because of this. I can't forget even if I wanted to. But we need to move forward. Now please, we should begin the ceremony. There will be things I ask you to do during the Requiem. Listen to what I say and act accordingly. Will do. Today tests our resolve. We have lost friends, allies. And the one responsible for all this. I have hey. never a few. To honor him. Some of you question the wisdom of that. But we need <sighs> to see the awesomer in a new light. We need to respect and honor each other. That starts today. Even a good orc can fall prey to ill-conceived notions. We need to bury the past with the king. And look to the future. Outsider, step forward. 
Yes, sir. Your help has been invaluable, and I want you to be a part of this. Please, light the first torch. <laughs> oh my god. Who's this first one? Ah, okay. I'm okay with that one. Burn, baby, burn! Light these fires to remember Kurog's true goal. Unity for the awesome of people. Instead, we have clans without chiefs. A city without a king. We will support these people. Guide them. We must look to tomorrow. Outsider. Light the second torch. I like this funeral. We'll burn away the path. Remember the Kurog who was. Strong. Confident. A king who cared about his people. We will carry on that legacy. Offering help, but never forcing it upon anyone. Much to my regret, the clan chiefs have asked me to take on the mantle of King of the Orson. To this request, I have cautiously agreed. We cannot be seen as weak and leaderless to the rest of the world. I shall uphold Kurog's dream, but I will avoid his ambition. We shall stand together as the new Orsinium. Say your farewells, then return to the keep. We must put this darkness behind us and celebrate a new day. Bastion is inside him. <laughs> All right, so I gotta run back. Okay, well, I'm gonna beat him too there and he's gonna magically appear in front of me. So let's go ahead and go. He's gonna be in the throne room. Okay, then let's go to the throne room then. That's sad, dude. Some really good people died. Specifically, Solgra, High Priestess. She did not deserve that whatsoever, dude. Oh, you mad king, you. Is he down here? Oh, he's up there. I'm glad you're here. Will you How return long is it to been? Black Marsh, my friend? Too long. Or do you have sure. another destination? We in can't mind? all be shield wife to a king. Long Why is it's it? not here? I'll go wherever the current takes me. Whoops. Come on, Bastion. We gotta talk to this, uh, this dude. Guy. I can't. Not after everything that's happened. I understand. Thank you for everything you've done, little elf. I shall miss you. Aww. Your courage and resilience in the face of adversity do you honor, my friend. If not for you, the clan chiefs and I wouldn't be standing here. And I certainly wouldn't be king. Hmm. So this is all your fault, isn't it? Fault? <laughs> so he is the king. He deserves this, I think. He's the best fitting. Don't you enjoy being king? I haven't been king long enough to form an opinion. That's fair. I hope the crown isn't as heavy as Kurog made it look. You have a place here with the people of Orsinium. But as much as I'd like you to stay, I know there are others out there who need your help. What happens for you and uh, Orsinium? I need to continue to meet with the clan chiefs and reach out to other influential orcs in the city. We have a government to forge and alliances to foster. There's a lot of work, but I think I finally understand what Kulog was trying to do. I wish you will, my friend. A.K.A. King Basrog. I, you. Take this. It belonged to Kurog, but you earned it. I hope I can do as much for my people as you did for Orsinium. I will do my best to live up to the faith that you and the clan chiefs have seen in me. So I think the reward, if I remember correctly, was a an outfit style or a costume. Something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was, but... I've already went through this. I've disclosed it at the beginning. Uh, I didn't pay attention at all to the story. I kind of just clicked through. But I looked at the rewards whenever they popped up, obviously. Because uh, when I, especially when I see an outfit or something, I like to look at that. So, yeah, I've already been through this. But this is my first time actually experiencing the story. So that's why it's not here. Your name <coughs> will never be forgotten by the awesome We will talk of your deeds for generations to come. Now, 
We'll find a way for the clans to work together. Good. To fulfill Kurog's original dream of united and strong people. Orsinium will stand forever. Until it falls again. <laughs> uh, what about the Vashrock? Are they still a threat? There's enough of the fanatics left to be a pain in my side. But we have ways of separating the bad from the good. It might take a while, but we'll put an end to the Vosh Rock before too long. How do you about, uh, how do you feel about this king thing? Never wanted to be a king. Still don't, really. But this is the best way to keep the clans from fighting or starving to death once winter sets in. I'll wear the crown for as long as I have to. Set my people on the right path. Okay. What's going to happen to Kurog's body? Orcs usually burn the bodies of chiefs and heroes. Mix the ashes into swords and shields. But for Kurog, I think I'll have the seat of the throne recast. That way he'll always be a pain in my eyes. <laughs> Help remind me what I should or shouldn't do. That's actually pretty clever. Okay, well, I wanted to say goodbye, my friend. Orcs have no concept of goodbye. We just come and go as we please. But you're always welcome in Orsinium, my friend. I'll be here cleaning up the mess that Kurog left us with. Just try not to get killed without me, all right? <laughs> I'll do my best. Good. I knew you would. I wish you safe travels. I'll try not to get too jealous while I'm stuck here being a royal bureaucrat and you're out there being a hero. Goodbye. Yay, let's see what Emily has to say. You're leaving too? Yeah. I can't blame you. I really can't stay around here much longer. Not after everything that happened. Are you doing all right, by the way? Not that well, all things considered. Aww. But I saw the high priestess's body just lying on that slab. Look, I've got to get out of here. If I stick around, these feelings, these memories, they're never going to fade. I get it. I do. I get it. Where will you go? I'm not sure. I might return to Valenwood, see my family. I'm kind of missing my loved ones after what we've been through. I wonder if Solgra had a family. She never mentioned it. That's sad. Did uh, King Basrog talk to you? Yeah. He wanted me to stay and help train the Orc archers. He even offered me my own squad and a fancy title. But after everything that happened, I just need to get away so I can put this all behind me. Sounds like... Sounds like you need to do that for yourself, for your own mental health, you know? But I wanted to wish you the best, Evely. You're a great friend of mine. One of my best friends, actually. Now, wanted to say goodbye. There's so much I want to tell you, to thank you for. I've learned so much from you. Out of everyone here, you're the one person I never lost faith in. Oh, thank you. I wish I could just go and follow you around forever. Oh my god, I would love that. Zoss, maker of a companion. Oh, uh, what's stopping you? Sending. But I need to find my own way for a while. But no matter where the wind blows, leaves from the same tree eventually find each other again. That'll be the same for us. You'll see. Okay, goodbye. Oh, yeah. What is he doing here? Greeting, Vestige. Though I can hardly call you that anymore, can I? Let us say, Meridius Champion. The hero of Cold Harbor. The savior of Tamriel. There? But I saw you die. So you did. And I have <laughs> gone on to the next great adventure. Why have you returned? I bring you a warning, champion. Oblivion stirs. Great and terrible machinations have begun. Once again, Tamriel is in danger. You have a part to play in the events to come. What events? A great war is coming. A war between the forces of Oblivion. The Daedric Princes are choosing sides. The Great Deceiver, 
the sower of discord and the patron of darkness plot a great deception. You mean Discord is planning something against me? I have Discord pulled up on my other screen. That's weird. What must I do? Be ready. Watch for signs. The war shall begin when the gates of Sothasil's lost city are reopened. So the scrolls portend. So shall it be. Will you help me? I cannot aid you in the coming battle. My time in this world is at an end. I must take my place in the immortal plane. Farewell, old friend. We will not speak again. Wait, I don't understand. Or not. Goodbye. Use the light of Meridia? Oh, that's... That's that. I'm gonna run really quick back to my home and see you there all right guys that's gonna go ahead and do it for this small little series don't worry ESO is far from done I love this game I play this game and Fallout 76 a lot I know some of you guys might not like final uh, Fallout 76 100% okay I can't wait to start my next journey here in this series in this game uh, with obviously with the next DLC uh, on the list You'll see once that starts, I can't wait to get started on that, guys. If you are too, though, do me a huge favor. Let me know what DLC I'm going to be doing next. Or what you think I'm going to be doing next down in the comment section down below. I'm kind of curious to find out who gets the right answer. You're not winning anything or nothing like that, but kind of curious, you know? If you enjoyed this video or this series, however, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Because it really does help this channel grow. So, with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.